Hello, welcome to Be Nice and Collect. We have another Rocket Toys figure. This is ROC004. Sad to say the box has been damaged due to shipping but I just hope it's all good inside. Inside it is another brown box. Good thing the damage did not penetrate this part. And it is being sealed. The art box is covered with plastic. So we have removed the plastic. Here is the art box. It has that moss green color and it is being sealed. There is a hologram sticker here showing the authenticity of this figure. Let's do a quick unboxing. Let's remove some plastics. I just want to show here how Rocket Toys pack its parts and the figure itself. Now for the review, let's deep dive its parts. First is this extra head. As usual, Rocket Toys deliver a near lifelike figure. I really love this head. The sculpture of his hair is very detailed. Similar to other Rocket Toys, its eyes are movable. You may use this tool given by Rocket Toys to help you move the eyes. He comes with this smiling faceplate. It's an iconic face of Kakashi. We also have these bells during the bell test. Two extra eyeballs that you can use. You are also provided with two batteries to light up the Chiduri accessory. He comes with four extra hands on the right. Similar on the other side, you have four extra left hands. The details are similar. Let's take a sample to look into its details. Again, fascinating paint job here. I am glad they added this Icha Icha. It's the book Kakashi reads. The content on each book are blank. We have two kunais that looks very real. I believe it's made of metal since it's quite heavy. Don't worry, it's not that sharp. We have this small pouch that can be attached at the back via magnets. A clipper tool to help you remove the eyeballs. And a magnet controller for the lights of Chidori. Now for the details of the main figure. The head scope is similar to the extra head, except for this one, it covers the left eye of Kakashi. The uniform is well crafted, the details are on point. The vest is quite thick, it's like a puff jacket. Although you cannot unzip the zipper, but there is another way to remove the vest. On the leg part, again, they perfected the creation of Kakashi's outfit. These bandages on his legs are very cool. Similar to other head, you can replace the face by sliding it down. Just do it gently.
Here is a quick demo on how to remove the eyeballs. You may also use your fingertips to move the eyeballs. It has a very strong magnet in attaching the pouch at the back. There are small buttons at the back to remove the vest, but the pegs are very thin, so I won't advise to remove it. For posability, just like other 1-6 figures, it has a lot of movable parts. It doesn't have that clicking feature unlike 3-0 or Asmos, but I can assure you that it's sturdy and it's very easy to repose as well. We are not done yet, Rocket Toys gave us a Chiduri that has a light up feature. Kakashi also comes with this base. A crouch stand support to avoid from falling. To light up the Chiduri accessory, you need to insert two batteries to it. Take note, the negative should be at the top. Let's put it back to its case. Let's try to light it up by using this magnet controller. Very cool and innovative. You can still light it up even this way. Side by side with Naruto by Zen Creations. I am very happy that I was able to catch up with the Naruto line of Rocket Toys. I am so excited with other Naruto characters. Here are all of my Kakashi so far. I did not notice I have a couple of figures of him. All in all, this figure exceeded my expectation. My only gripe is that I spent beyond its SRP because it's already passed due to its release date. How I wish I was able to start earlier. Nonetheless, I am very happy with this Kakashi. I'm still thinking if it will be worth it to get the 3-0 Kakashi, but at the same time, I'm thinking it's better to save money for other characters. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Shout out to Toy Unboxing family, friends, and viewers. See you in my next video.